everyone! My name is Chloe Faith Castlow. I'm an actress who likes to read and today I'm here to talk about some books. Now I've been wanting to make booktube videos for a very long time since I was in high school but I was always busy with school and then I was worried about if they would be any good because I don't know how to edit videos or add special effects or anything like that and finally I just I had it. I had it with the procrastination and I decided you know what I'm just gonna sit down I'm gonna make the videos, I'm gonna post them, and if they're good, they're good. If they're not, well then, we work on it. And so that is what I'm doing today, and I'm super, super excited because my first video is the mid-year book freakout tag. Now, this usually happens in June, but I got a little behind, but it's okay. It's okay, because the important thing is that we're making it. And so this tag is originally created by Ellie and Cammie, I wish I could tell you their channel names, but I cannot find their channels. Like I have clicked on links, I have done YouTube searches, I have done Google searches, and nothing. Cannot find them. So if you know their channel names, please let me know so that way I can link them down below and give them their full credit. I am also taking some questions from Jesse at Jesse the Reader. He did a revamped version of this tag and I really like some of the questions he had. So I've taken questions from the original, questions from the new version and just put them all together and we're just going to make one big video for it. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. First book <laughs> is going to be The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. This is my best book of 2023 so far. I absolutely love this series. I had not read it since I was a young child and so going back into it I did not remember every single thing that happened. So I really enjoyed going back and rereading it and finding that I still enjoy it as much as I did when my mom read it to me when I was like 9 or 10. So this book is about Percy Jackson who finds out that he is a demigod who is half mortal, half Greek god. He is being accused of stealing Zeus's master lightning bolt and so he has to go on a quest with his friends Annabeth and Grover to find the lightning bolt and clear his name. It's just such a fun story, it's lighthearted. it makes you laugh, and I highly highly recommend this to anyone, to any reader of any age, pick up Percy Jackson, you will not regret it. And the second question is best sequel you've read so far. That is going to The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan. This is the third book in the Percy Jackson series and I'm not going to tell you much about it because I don't want to spoil anything, but just know that this book really shows you how Percy is growing up. Like it has a little bit of a heavier theme to it, it has some more dramatic moments, but it still has that humor that the first book gives you and still has a little bit of the lightheartedness that the first book gives you as well. So it's just so nice to be growing up with Percy and seeing him grow. Alright, next question is best new release and this is going to Not So Perfect Strangers by L.S. Stratton. This was a book I picked up because I used to work at Barnes & Noble and we would do books of the month and this was one of them and I decided I would be able to sell it better if I actually read it and it got me hooked. <laughs> so this book is about two women who are trapped in not the best marriages. One comes up with a plan to murder each other's husbands and chaos ensues from there. I won't lie. For the majority of this book, I was kind of met on it. I was like, it's not the most original plot line. It's not capturing me, but like I'm enjoying it, but I'm not like, oh my gosh, I have to read this book. And then I got to the last few chapters and that changed because this woman just, she just got me. I did not see the ending coming. I did not expect it to happen and it just like, sucked me in and I was at work and I like slammed the book down my co-worker was like are you okay and I'm like this I <laughs> like I wish I could tell you more but I don't want to spoil anything so pick up this book uh Ella Stratton is also getting my vote for best new author I cannot wait to see what she does with the rest of her books next question new release you haven't read yet this is going to this giant book which is Chain of Thorns yeah Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare 
Uh, this is the last book in the Last Hours trilogy, and I've read the first book. I've read Chain of Gold, and then I decided to wait till the entire trilogy was released because I like to binge read Cassandra Clare's books. They are big, they are in depth, and I just I gotta binge read them because by the time she comes out with the next one, I have forgotten what has happened in the first book. And so instead of just having to go back and keep rereading, rereading, rereading everything, I'm like, I'm just gonna wait. So yeah, gotta <laughs> pick this one up soon, hopefully. But I'm really excited to read this series because I love her Infernal Devices characters and these are the children of those characters. So I am excited to see what shenanigans the <laughs> younger kids get into. All right, number five is Biggest Disappointment. And I fear this may get me some backlash from the theater community because I know a lot of people enjoy this play, but it's going to The Wolves by Sarah Delap. Now, I did not hate this play. I did enjoy it. I think it would be a really fun play to watch and to perform in. But as a play that I was just reading, it wasn't very captivating. Like, there just wasn't much into it. And my biggest disappointment is that there were no monologues for me to pick from. Like there was no audition material in this play for me or for any of my students. And it's just like really frustrating because I'm like, you know, I could watch this play and I'm sure I would enjoy it. But when I'm reading something, I'm reading it because I'm hoping to find material to work with. And that play, this play did not have any of that for me. So that is why it is my biggest disappointment so far. Ah, biggest surprise. This is going to The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. This is a prequel book to her original Hunger Games trilogy where we follow President Snow. He is a mentor for the 10th Hunger Games and that is where he meets Lucy Gray who is the District 12 tribute. This book had everything you want in a Hunger Games book. It had action, it had love, it had just mind-blowing things that you're like oh my gosh I cannot believe that just happened it has twists and turns and what I appreciated about it is that it doesn't make you like President Snow but it gives you some insight into who he is as a character so I would be very interested to go and read the original trilogy after having read this because I am interested to know how my perspective is going to change knowing all the information I have on him now that I've read this book highly recommend go read it if you love the Hunger Games. My newest fictional crush. I'm gonna preface this real quick and say I feel uncomfortable answering this question because I'm 23 about to be 24 and all of the books I read are mostly young adult so all of the characters that I could have crushes on are younger than me and are technically minors so I'm not gonna say it's a crush I'm going to say that it's somebody whose friend I would like to be and that is Percy Jackson. Like I loved him when I was younger, I still love him, I want to be his best friend and that's where we're gonna leave with that. Uh, next question is newest favorite character and that is going to Zuzana from Daughter of Smoke and Bone. This character is a character that I did not appreciate enough when I first read this trilogy, like I was all about Karu and Akiva. And then when I re-listened to the audiobooks, Zuzana just kept jumping out at me and I'm like, this is the type of girl you want your best friend to be. Like, she is spunky, she is feisty, she is like, roll with the punches, like, oh, you have magical creatures that take care of you, cool. You can make wishes, all these little penny things, cool. Like, she's just go with the flow, has a sarcastic comment for everything, and I absolutely loved her and felt like she was the comedic relief that you needed in this series. Uh, book that made you cry. I don't cry at books, so I don't have one for this. So we're just gonna move right on to the next question, which is a book that made you happy. And that goes to Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This is my favorite book in the entire world. I have read it like five or six times. And it just makes me smile. Like, I really relate to Anna. And she just goes through so much in this story that it kind of helps me 
to look back on my life and see how can I relate to her and realize like even though I've gone through a lot like I'm still going I'm still thriving I'm still doing really well and it just makes me happy to reread this book so for those of you who don't know this story follows Anna who is a girl from Atlanta Georgia her father ships her off to Paris to go to a boarding school for her senior year of high school. There she meets new friends, she's navigating a new form of life, and chaos ensues from there. But it's a really sweet story and I highly, highly recommend this book. Book to film adaptation. This is not a new one. It came out a few years ago, but I feel like it did not get talked about enough. It did not get promoted enough. And that is Looking for Alaska by John Green. This book follows Miles, who goes to a boarding school in Alaska for his junior year. I think it's his junior year of high school. And there he meets a girl named Alaska, and he ends up falling in love with her. But something happens that causes everything to change. And it is just such a special story. It is my favorite John Green novel. And the adaptation does a beautiful job of telling that story, as well as giving depth to some of its other characters that you don't get from the book. I might be a little biased with this one because I actually was in this TV show. I was a background actor and I played a high school student and I shot it for like an entire summer while I was in college and it was one of the best times of my life. Like I have so many fond memories. I love watching the show and like finding me and remembering filming those days. So I highly recommend you go watch it. It's on Hulu. You do have to pay for it but you don't have to pay premium. You just have to pay for the basic package unless you don't like ads then you can pay for the premium but yeah it's just such a special story it has such a special place in my heart and I highly highly recommend reading it and watching it going on to the next page I have my handy dandy notebook with me with all my questions most beautiful book that is going to one of my current reads which is these violent delights by Chloe Gong it is such a a gorgeous cover like it's got the dragon it's got a knife it's got roses um this story is a Romeo and Juliet retelling that takes us takes us takes place in 1920 Shanghai China there are two warring gangs and one is has the air of Juliet and one has the air of Roma and they used to be lovers but then they broke up I don't know why yet I'm not too far into it and it is just such a fascinating take on the story and I'm really excited to be reading it but it gets the most beautiful book for a reason because this cover is just stunning and this is an Owl Crate exclusive edition so it has a beautiful cover when it's naked like look at this look at this rose look at the dagger this beautiful beautiful gold color and then it has an inside dust jacket with this beautiful illustration that I forgot it had until I was putting the dust jacket back on. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at this illustration. Like, you have Roma and Juliet down there looking so cute. Can you see it? I hope you can see it. So yeah, most beautiful book goes to These Violent Delights. Now going more into the questions about, like, goals and what your reading style is. Um, the next question is, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? I would really love to finish catching up on the Percy Jackson series. I'm on Son of Neptune, which is the second book in the Heroes of Olympus series. So I have the rest of Heroes of Olympus, I have Trials of Apollo, and then he's coming out with a new book in September and I need to read that book as well, as well as the Nico D'Angelo standalone that he just released. So I have a lot of catching up to do and I will consider it a really big victory if I catch up to it. Uh, do you feel your reading taste has changed? I do feel it's changing. I still have a very strong love for young adult books, but I feel like my reading taste is branching out into other genres. Like, I'm starting to read more self-help books. I'm reading some history books. <laughs> more on why I'm reading those in another video, because it takes too long to explain right now. Uh, I'm also starting to read some manga, which has been really fun. Um, what else am I reading? I don't know. I, I'm reading a lot of books right now, so a lot of different genres, and I'm having fun. What are your bookish goals, and are you sticking to them? I only have one bookish goal that I'm sticking with. I'm sure I made others, but I don't remember what they are. And that is that I want to read 100 books this year. 
I don't think I'm gonna make it because we're halfway through the year and I'm only at 24 but you never know things might surprise you I might get lucky so we'll find out but that is my big goal for this year is 100 books uh what book format are you reading the most in so I'm still reading mostly physical books but I have started reading more ebooks um I've started reading on my tablet a little bit more I'm reading manga which is a lot of fun I told you that I was reading manga so yeah I'm doing different formats but most of it is still physical books and what is the vibe of your reading year I love this question I think it's such a cute question and my vibe for this reading year is childhood throwback between reading Percy Jackson between listening to books that I read back in high school I'm just like having such a nostalgic time so yeah that is it for this video and for the mid-year book freakout tag thank you for watching so long if you made it to the end of this video thank you for dealing with my stumblings and for my stutterings and I hope to see you again in another video so have a lovely day make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a video you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Chloe Faith Castlow. I'll link it down below in the description. And yeah, I hope to see you soon and have a good day. Bye!